hey, he likes to lick my pussy. They sent their own investigator down, didn't, didn't, didn't call CPS, didn't tell the cops. They sent their own investigator down and put the five-year-old in the same room as the perp and said, what, 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 what are you saying about Mr. Jackson? She recants. Another kid, another nine-year-old kid said, no, he's doing bad things to me. Again, they put him in the same room, same investigator. She recants. So shit goes on and on. Finally, 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 one of the older, one of the older kids moved out of the house. When she turned 18, she reported it and then they found out what happened. So we, um, of course, sued the foster family agency, the, the private entity, and went to trial up in San Jose. And it was, um, it was one of my first sex abuse cases. <clears throat> and we go up there and the, the judge in, in Santa Clara County says, you know, you're, you're in Santa Clara County, son. This is a very conservative venue, man. You, you take that million dollars they're offering you. Okay. We're gonna hold off on that million dollars and keep going. And, and the, the offer went to $2 million after the opening um, statement and went to three. Um, after the end of our case in chief, and we said no, 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 uh, and we ended up getting thirty million dollars for that kid, and he deserved every penny of it because he was abused five hundred eighty-five times. We figured out over the three years there.